How are you doing? Oh, good. All right, yeah, I'm uh, doing good. I uh, just got home. I was visiting home for the holidays. I'm from Florida. Uh, my hair is from Ohio. So. <laughs> it was a great trip. The worst part, though, was when I got back, and uh, I took an Uber from the airport, and that sucked because everyone at the airport is having these beautiful moments with their families, like reuniting, and I was just, like, looking for Jun Woo. I think Uber should have a setting on the app to like fake it. Wouldn't that be great? You pay the guy like 10 extra dollars and then he acts like your dad. <laughs> he shows up, he's like, Ted? I'm like, Papa? <laughs> People are like, that elderly Chinese man has an interesting son. <laughs> I was in the back of an Uber on a date recently and uh, the girl was like, I'm really warm. And that was a weird moment because I wanted to be chivalrous, but what do you do when someone's too warm? I can't be like <laughs> It was a puzzle because if she was too cold, I'd be like, oh, here's my jacket. But too warm, I can't be like, take off your clothes. The driver's like, you need AC? I'm like, we're fine, papa. We're, we're fine. I went on the worst date ever recently. Um, have you ever been on a first date and you could tell it wasn't gonna work just by like the first word? <laughs> this girl walks up to the table, she goes, greetings. I was like, this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're Ted? I'm like, you're a welcome mat? Uh. <laughs> we weren't compatible. She's one of these people who should just say fun facts. How do you respond to a fun fact, you know? <laughs> At one point, she's like, did you know Jupiter has 79 moons? I was just like, wow. That'd be crazy if a werewolf lived there. <laughs> Longest silence of my life. <laughs> I just looked at her like... <laughs> Have you ever been so bored on a date that you just be yourself? <laughs> I was like, screw it, one of us is gonna have fun. <laughs> I had a friend give me a dating advice recently. He was like, uh, dude, you got a peacock. Have you heard this term before, peacocking? Yeah. No, you? Apparently it's where a guy wears like really like uh, vibrant colors to try to like stand out and attract a girl. I thought it was something completely different. <laughs> I thought it was like a movement. <laughs> I thought it was like a... <laughs> I thought he wanted me to go to a girl at a bar and be like, I'm Ted. <laughs> you can't do that. You gotta be mysterious as a guy, you know? Peacocks don't have to be mysterious. <laughs> no peacock is like, you like this? Yeah? <laughs> no, a peacock sees someone they like, they're like, how's it going? <laughs> and they just stand there while she makes a decision. <laughs> It'd be great to be a peacock until you get rejected. <laughs> then you can't play it off, you know? You can't be like, I didn't even like her in the first place. <laughs> I just wanted directions, that's all. <laughs> I'm happy I'm dating because I went through a pretty big breakup about three years ago. Um, I only mentioned it because we were married. But don't, don't get weird. That's why I say big breakup so it doesn't sound as heavy, you know? I even called the attorney. I was like, yeah, I'd like to file a big breakup. <laughs> Please. We were uh, married for three months. Uh, it was a personal best. <laughs> We are so close to forever. <laughs> I'll be honest, I had a, a girl in kindergarten tell me she was uh, my wife and that lasted a little longer. <laughs> so, remember kindergarten when kids would marry each other? I feel like back then you were one of two things. You thought love was icky or you had like seven wives. <laughs> I remember this girl in my class, she would just go around like marrying all the boys, like against their will. You know? She's like, Timmy's my husband. And Timmy's behind her like, look, I know I'm four, but this feels like a red flag. 
I remember if you saw a boy and girl sitting together, remember that song? You're like, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a baby carriage. How weird is that? We used to tease each other with the perfect life. <laughs> He's got a family that loves him. <laughs> and a good retirement, too. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's not realistic. We should change that song, you know? It should be like, first comes love, then comes doubt. <laughs> Then comes baby. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's my time. Give it up for the host.